Hey, y'all. Hey. Happy Sunday, you guys. All right. Let me pin my comment here. Actually, I'm going to pin. There we go. I'm going to pin my challenge. Hey, Naretha, how are you? Happy Sunday, you guys. You guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you seven ways among all the ways, all the ways and all the things, seven ways that group, ch group coaching has changed my entire life. Now, before we get into that, I do want to let you guys know that I am having my group coaching blueprint challenge starting tomorrow. It's actually starting tomorrow for general population. It is starting tonight at eight o'clock for VIP people because I want to bring everybody in a room and host a meet and greet. So if that is something that you know can serve you well, and if you don't know it now, you will after I give you these seven ways um, as we get started. All right, let me see who is on here. Coach Keita, Naretha. Um, y'all have some, y'all have some names that I can't even pronounce. Okay, Jennifer, I can pronounce that. Y'all know I keep it real over here. Um, SMP Boss Lady, uh, Ted H Y Luis, Luis, um, Miss Creative CEO, um, Deval Sky, hey hey. Caked Out Coach. Okay, Caked Out Coach. I like that name. All right, Eric. Hey, hey. All right. Thank you, Naretha. I'm in my home office now. I moved out of my, my office office outside of the home, and I redid my home office from a dark color palette into a lighter color palette. All right? So, yes. Oh, it's Teddy, not Ted H. Y. It's Teddy. All right. Set the record straight when somebody doesn't know your name. I am here for it. Yes. So, you guys, groupcoachingblueprintchallenge.com is um, pinned in the comments. If you want to know all about group coaching, join me for the challenge this week. This is my third time running this challenge, and we are changing lives over here. So, I want to give you seven ways. There's so many, there's so many ways that group coaching has changed my life personally, and I just want to give you um, some of them. I don't know if I want to give you them to you in the order that I wrote them down on my paper. I don't think I want to give them to you in this order. All right. Number one, the number one of the ways that group coaching has changed my life is that I have more time freedom. I used to, I mean, I used to go from client to 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 client, to client, to client all day every day, five days a week, just back-to-back -back clients with 15 minutes in between. And, you know, when you when you become a coach, they teach you that to reach as many people as possible with, with your gift, with, with, with whatever it is that you do. But what they don't tell you is that you're going to burn on that out on that pretty quickly. And the better you get in your coaching as a craft, as a skill set, as a science, the more people, the more the word is going to get out and people are going to come to you and want to work with you, which is great. It's fantastic. The thing is, your time freedom gets zapped really quick. And I'm just keeping it real with you. I coach coaches. Your time freedom gets zapped really, really quickly. So there's got to be a way for you to still create your impact in the world and reach more people, but not in a one-on-one -on -one environment. And that's one way that group coaching has changed my life life. All right. So that's one way. Hey, Cherish. One way group coaching has changed my life is more time freedom. Number two, y'all want to hear number two, how group coaching has changed my life. I see some people on here that are in my challenge starting tonight. I recognize some names. You guys, this is my third time hosting this group coaching challenge to show you like legit. I give you step by step, by step, by step. I know there's a lot of challenges out here and there's a lot of fluff out here in these streets, but what I wanna tell you is I give you the entire blueprint step by step by step on how to do it. So I have pinned the comment, groupcoachingblueprintchallenge.com. We start tomorrow, but if you're VIP, we start tonight with a meet and greet. So go on and get your ticket. All right, number two, seven ways group coaching has changed my life. Number two, is that I get to reach more people. 
when you are, when you come to the point where you, you really um, know your messaging as a coach and you know what you are trying to get, a, get out into this world, you just, it, you just, you just wear it and it is just so on you. Like you guys can see it on me. You can see on me what I do, right? You want to, when you get to that space, you want to position yourself to reach as many people as possible. And that's what group coaching will do for you. You're bringing, say that you're spending an hour teaching something, right? Um, you can spend the hour with one person or you can spend the hour with 50 people or you can spend the hour with 500 people. It's the same hour on your schedule, which was why, you know, the time freedom is number one. But reaching more people is just, your gift is not for one person one at a time. Your gift is to reach the masses, right? Seven ways. Group coaching has changed my life. I can now reach the masses learning the blueprint for how to um, effectively, we have to put that in there, right? It's not just group coaching. It's how to effectively reach the right people, right? Somebody says you're ordained for this work. Yes, ma'am. I like to think so, that I'm ordained for this work. I, I actually am. I can feel it in my heart that I'm doing my purpose work. It's on me and it feels so good because then I get to wake up every day and feel like I get paid to be me. And that's why I want to teach and that's why I do teach as much as I do the way that I do because I want each and every one of you guys to learn what that is and, and how that is where when you tap into your gift, you get to wake up and you get to be you, right? Teaching Dennis inside my challenge groupcoachingblueprintchallenge.com. All right, number three, seven ways to group coaching has changed my life. Number three is you get to increase the rate at which you fulfill your divine assignment. Y'all, let me tell you something. There's nothing better. There is nothing better on this planet than knowing that every day that you that you get out of bed and your and your two feet hit the ground, there's no better feeling than knowing that you are getting another day to carry out your assignment. Most people never find out what their divine assignment is, what their divine purpose is. So when you are when you figure out what that is and you move into a group coaching business model as a coach as a consultant as a teacher um as a facilitator um when you move into that realm and you 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 start to carry out your design your divine assignment you're changing your corner of the world that's why my tagline is change your corner of the world every single day Every dot, single dot, day dot, because I mean that thing. There's no better feeling than fulfilling your divine assignment. And when you're doing it in groups, you get to fulfill it deeper and faster. Okay? Number four. Who's number for not ready for number four? Seven ways group coaching has changed my life. Number four. I kind of already said it. <laughs> Number four is you get to change your corner of the world. Who is here for it? Who is here for changing their corner of the world? If that's what you're here for, that's what group coaching can help you do. It's you're 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 since you're not meeting with people one on one, and you're meeting with them in the group in a group, you're changing your corner of the world deeper and faster. And I have men in my groups. I mean, I have mostly women, but I have men in my groups too. And here's the thing. As a woman, and y'all know it to be true, especially black women, I'm just saying. As a woman, we are so connected in our communities 
to to church, to community, to sisterhoods, to networks, to to sororities, to uh, volunteering, to to PTA, to all kinds of things that we as women are connected to. So when we when we learn um, a skill set and we're putting that out into the world, when we change our corner of the world, it is not just for us. It affects everything that we are attached to. Think of it like if you know somebody, hopefully this isn't you, but think about if you know somebody that just has a that just has like a cancerous, we'll call it, a cancerous personality. Everybody that they come in contact with, they're rubbing their negativity off on those people, right? And you just don't want, you're like, I can't even stand being around her. Her energy is too heavy. Well, the opposite is true too, right? The opposite is true too. When you are the person that is operating in your divine assignment and you're moving every day with that flow and that ease because you know your purpose and you're out here in these streets doing your purpose work, then everything attached to you is like, I love her aura. I love her light. I love the way I feel when I interact with her. You turn into that person. Who's here for being that person? Let me know. Let me know who's here for being that person. Let's see who we got on here. Y'all, I'm seeing some names. Hey, Coriel. I'm seeing some names that are in my group coaching blueprint challenge that is starting tomorrow. Listen, if you have not signed up yet, it is a week of magic. It is an absolute week of magic. The way it goes down inside of my community when I do this, this group coaching challenge. It starts tomorrow, but if you're VIP, it starts tonight because you want to get in the room for the meet and greet because you got to see who else is in the room, right? All right, number five, seven ways group coaching has changed my life personally. Number five is you get to create your legacy. Y'all, let me go there for a minute. How many people do you know that, I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there. How many people do you know that pass away and they did not leave a legacy? Just let's hold space for that for a minute. How many people do you know that came here on this earth, did some things here on this earth, left this earth in their in their body form, in their flesh form, and, and they did not do work that left a legacy. Real talk, y'all. If you're watching right now, or you're watching the replay and it's not too late, I want you to ask yourself, the work and the, the things that I'm doing every single day Am I doing work in a way that is positioning me to leave a legacy? If the answer is no, and only you know, you don't have to type it in the chat. If the answer is no, then it's time for you to do something different. It's time for you to do something different because we are not put here. What I know to be true for a fact. We are not put here to just be. God did not create you to just be and just to exist and to just let every day go by and just be the same mundane in and out, in and out, day in and day out. Get up, take a shower, cook breakfast, get the kids on the school bus, go to work, come home, cook, feed the kids. Sit with them a little bit. Sit with your spouse a little bit if you have one. Watch TV and go to bed and do it all over again and do that for 40 and 50 and 60 years. That is not living. That is not life. Right? So what group coaching did for me is it allowed me, and what I would absolutely love for it to do for you, is it is a way that once you figure out what you're teaching, it is a way 
for you to create legacy around whatever it is you do. And it's a way to create legacy in a voluminous way, if we want to say it that way. You're not creating legacy one person at a time. You're creating legacy a group at a time, okay? Number six. Who's here for number six? Number six, right? I see you, Tara Dickerson. All right, Tara, I want to see you in the, um, in the group coaching blueprint challenge tonight. I see you, Kimmy. She said, talk to them, coach. Listen, y'all, cheerleaders are great, but action takers are better. Y'all, I'm a, that's a bar. I'm going to have to, I never even said that. I'm going to have to start saying that. Cheerleaders are great. Because you know people will big up you in the comments. Oh, well, rah, rah, rah. That's great. I appreciate it. Cheerleaders are great, but action takers are better. Right? So I want to see both of y'all and everybody else on here in the challenge. We're starting in just a little bit. We're starting in three hours to come to the meet and greet. All right? The, um, the website is pinned in the comments and it's also in my link in my bio. So number six. I'm sharing seven ways group coaching has changed my life. Number six. Ooh, y'all. Number six is a whole... Number six and seven are just like, we just need a minute. Y'all ready for number six and seven? Let me know. Drop fireballs if y'all are really ready for six and seven. I don't know if y'all are ready or not. I don't know. Because six and seven are... I kind of went there on six and seven. Y'all let me know. I need to see some fireballs if y'all are ready for this six and seven. Let's see. Francesca. I guess nobody wants six and seven. Hmm. I don't see any fireballs for six and seven. All right, there we go. Somebody wants six and seven. I think everybody is everybody else is scared. All right, here we go. Number six. Number six. Seven ways group coaching has changed my life. Number six. This one is this something else, y'all. Number six is that it has positively shifted our culture. Let me say that again. When I started coaching in groups, it positively shifted our culture. How you say that, Coach Kelly? You're just one person. Hey, as one person, you have to do your part. When I started coaching in groups, it positively shifted our culture. Say if I'm coaching 50 people, my first group coaching group, I have 53 people. Say I'm coaching 50 people and all of those 50 people affect 50 people. We won't even say 50. Say I'm coaching 50 people at one time and all those 50 people um, affect 25 people and all those 25 people affect 12 people. And all those 12 people positively affect six people. And all those six people positively affect three people. Is that a culture shift, yes or no? Is that a culture shift? So we have to start realizing, for those of you that are on here, if you know what your purpose is, I want you to drop a P. If you already know it, drop a P. If you don't know what your, what your purpose is, I want you to drop a question mark. All right. If you already know what your purpose in this life is, it is also your responsibility to affect positively affect the culture with that. OK, I see you guys. Oh, y'all know y'all's purpose. I love it. I want to see every one of you guys in my group coaching blueprint challenge that starts tonight. If you know your purpose, it is your it is your duty, it is your responsibility, it is part of you being here to push that on and out to the culture. Do you think that Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King and all those people in our past that weren't weren't even that long ago? 
Do you think they pass the torch to this generation for us to just sit it down? Real talk. Did they pass that to our to this generation for us to sit it down? Or do you think they pass it to this generation for us to carry it proudly and to reach as many people as possible with our purpose and our gift? When you're given a gift, you have to realize that the gift that you have, that your life is on this earth, it is not just for you. It is for you to pass along. And in realizing that, if you can pass, a, pass that along in groups, you are positively affecting the culture. That was the number six. And I could go on and on on that, but I won't because I got to meet with my group tonight. And then I've got the group coaching blueprint challenge all week. We'll, if, you're, if you are getting general admission, we'll spend an hour together Monday through Friday this week. If you are getting VIP admission, which I don't know why you wouldn't, you got you you have to start navigating this life like you're a VIP in everything that you do. So if you're a VIP, we'll spend an hour and a half all week and we'll do the meet and greet tonight. So I've got I say all that to say I'm gonna go because I have to preserve my voice to be able to talk all week, right? Hey, Coach Walena. All right, so, oh, I see somebody else. Hey, Petra, she's in the Life Coach Petra. She is in, or maybe Petra, she'll correct me tonight because I recognize your name as uh, in the Group Coaching Blueprint Challenge. So I look forward to meeting you on the meet and greet tonight in just a little bit. All right, so number seven is, we're discussing seven ways group coaching has changed my life. Um, the seventh way is, Ooh, seven is good too, y'all. Number seven is I got to, it, it, it will allow you, and what it did for me was to break the myth of the hustle mentality. I need to drink some tea on that one. Y'all, Beyonce's internet has us to believe that you that, that we have to hustle in order to make a living and that we have to hustle to step into living an abundant life right <laughs> coach Walina says wait a minute yes yeah, so let's say wait a minute and what what is that uh uh comedian's name that says that um he presses his hair what's his name he only he shows up halfway for his shows. I can't think of his name. Cat Williams. He says, wait a minute. I think he's the one that says that, right? I could be all wrong. I don't know, y'all. My husband's the one that likes comedy shows, and he drags me to him, right? Wait a minute. Yes, wait a minute. The internet, Beyonce's internet, has us believing that in order to earn a... um, Oh, yes, Cat Williams, yes. Wait a minute. Um, <laughs> in order for us to make good money as a coach or, or in order for us to make good money, period, that we have to hustle. Y'all, I bought it for a long time and I stressed myself out. And I don't know about y'all, but Coach Kelly needs her sleep. Coach Kelly needs her rest. Y'all, y'all help me out. I need, I need, I need my rest. I, I'm a lot of upkeep. I'm not really. I'm just saying. I'm not a whole lot of upkeep. But <laughs> do y'all think I'm, my husband says I'm a lot of upkeep. I don't think I'm a lot of upkeep. But, um, yeah, no. I, I believed for, for too long that I had to hustle in order to generate the income that I wanted to generate, which is not a small number because there's a lifestyle that I like to live, right? Um, just, just real talk. I believed, I, I bought into the mentality that hustle, hustle, hustling 
not sleeping, all those things was the only way. And I'm here to tell you, it's not so. It's not so. Um, Yeah, no. So that was number seven. It would take us too long to even just really like unlock that. Okay. Hey, Coach Rocky. Um, she says, oh, this filter is amazing. Got you looking godly. Sis, I am godly, right? But thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I know this filter is everything. It even has my hair looking like, like, yes. Let's just have a whole photo shoot over here, right? This filter is everything. So, yes. But yes, I, I just, I am, I, we need to, we need to put this, we need to put the voice out Glamour and Style says she is new here. Well, welcome, sis. We keep it real over here. Listen, if you are a coach, Glamour and Style, you say you're new here. If you're a coach or you teach anything, you want to get in on my group coaching blueprint challenge.com. We're having the meet and greet tonight, and then we'll be meeting all week for one hour. Okay. Um, we we have to begin to give a voice, a louder voice to that self-care and that resting is part of the success equation. It is for me anyway. I would not be able, and this is real talk, I would not be able to produce, function, show up, spread my magic, spread my magic, can we say it three times? Spread my magic. I would not be able to do those things the way that I do them if I was hustling all the time. And so I want to I want to trans that transfer that to you and let you know in order to be successful as a coach, you do not have to hustle all the time. Now, you have to make the most out of the time that you're working. You can't say that you're only going to work five and six hours a day as a coach or a consultant, but then, you know, four and a half of those hours, you were scrolling Instagram for intake, input, not output. Now, we have to keep it real. When you're working, you're working. When you're not, you're not. But you don't have to work 12 or 15 hours a day in order to win and be successful and be impactful as a coach. Can we can we decide that that's that that does not have to be a thing? Can we can we all agree that that does not have to be that I no 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 nowhere nowhere does it say except for except for on Beyonce's internet that that we have to hustle all the time. We don't. When you're working, work. When you're not, don't. But you don't have to work 15 hours a day, okay? So what we've talked about today is seven ways group coaching has changed my life. There is no way I would go back to a one-on-one -on -one group coaching model. There is no, there's no way that I would ever do that. So I'm going to give you the seven ways really quick again. If you're just not joining in, you want to go back from the to the beginning and watch. OK, but I want you to also join me at group coaching blueprint challenge dot com. Group coaching blueprint challenge dot com is pinned in the comments, but it's also on the link in my bio. We're starting at eight o'clock tonight for the meet and greet. One of the best things you can do for your brand is to get in the room and come and rub elbows with people and come and be able to ask me anything that you want all week. The people who bid on themselves and say, hey, look, I'm a VIP at the gate. I'm a VIP. Then you get in the room and you get to ask questions, okay? Then you get in the room with other people who consider themselves a VIP. So the seven ways group coaching has changed my life. Um, one was it gave me more time freedom. Two, I get to reach more people. Three, I get to increase the value. I mean, I get to increase the rate at which I fulfill my divine assignment. Number four was I get to change my corner of the world every single day. 
Number five was I get to create my legacy. Most people die and they never got to create a real legacy. And number six, I get to positively shift our culture because I know when I reach um, a person in a in a right way, in a deep way, I know it affects not just them, but everybody and everything that is attached to them. And number seven is that I got to break the hustle mode belief that I once had that you had to work all the time, that you had to hustle all the time. And now I'm transferring that to the people and the coaches and the consultants and the leaders that come to me to learn the blueprint for how to do it and how to do it effectively and how to increase your impact, your influence, and your income. All right? So, hey, hey. I'm going to close it out. And um, for those of you that are joining the Group Coaching Blueprint Challenge, I will see you in just a few hours. All right. Bye.